Back to Roughing It Outdoors, I'm Reese Stein. You know, Utah's elk herd is gaining quite a reputation throughout the West, and for good reason. Tonight, outdoor reporter Adam Eakle profiles a grandmother who has an amazing early season success story. And he takes a look at the forecast for this year's general elk season opening today. Rhonda Kennedy, a grandmother from Marysville, beat the odds, and perhaps many of the other hunters on the mountain, when she took what may be the largest okay. bull ever harvested by a woman in the state. Awestruck, really. It's just a dream come true. Rhonda's story actually began back in the summer, months before either Rhonda or her family had ever even seen the big bull. Eric Christensen with Gooch's Guide Service, he had been watching the monster on the Tusher Mountains for about two years, and he found him again in late July. Two months go by, Rhonda is now on the third day of her hunt, and Kenneth Kennedy, that's Rhonda's husband, he had spotted some cows in almost the exact same spot where Eric had videotaped the brute two months earlier. We figured, you know, there's got to be a bull with them. So I sent Travis and Mike up the next morning while we went in a different area, and they found him. He was beagling, and we got up through the binoculars and like, holy cow, that's, that's, this is the one. And the uh, boys took me right to him. I couldn't believe how good it was. And Travis Cow called and stopped him again, and... I just said, you better shoot, you ain't gonna get another chance. I'd put that up there and I'd tell the rest at 112 yards and small. <laughs> when they're yelling that, you don't hear them because you're so pumped up, all you can see is these horns. We sat there waiting for the shot, waiting, waiting. It seemed like 30 minutes before she shot, but you finally heard it. As the family walked to where the big bull had fallen, they knew their mother had just fulfilled not only her dream, but the entire Kennedy family's dream of harvesting a monster elk off of a mountain they have all enjoyed all of their lives. There's the one that drew the golden ticket, and there's her trophy. Wow. <laughs> it was way cool. I can't even begin to explain the, the rush, the, and yet you kind of feel sadness too, but yet because he's so beautiful, but I'll tell you, there's nothing like it in the world. It's just way cool. The elk population continues to increase across the state. Wildlife officials say much of that increase is due to management and a few years of good weather. They are also optimistic about this year's general elk season. I think conditions are, are good for the general elk hunt. Uh, we have had some dry weather the last few uh, weeks, but prior to that we had plenty of moisture in the spring. We've had uh, good forage conditions. Uh, the elk are probably going to be scattered somewhat, but uh, there's plenty of elk out there in our units for, for a good hunt. Well, congratulations, Rhonda. That's a, that's a big bull. Thanks a lot, Adam. I appreciate you letting me show him off. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. I'm sure it's a story you'll tell your grandchildren about for a long time, and I'm sure they'll tell their grandchildren about it for years to come. Most definitely, huh, Tanner? <laughs> well, that's our preview of the elk season this year. There's still the, the general season opens today, and the late season limited entry rifle hunt uh, opens in November. I'm sure we're set to see some big monsters like this taken on the November hunt. Until then, I'm Adam Eagle in Marysville, roughing it outdoors. Great story. Thank you.